Welcome to Ridiculous. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I hope you're living your best life. My wife cheated on me and was pregnant with other man's baby. This past Saturday, I went to use the computer and my wife had left her email open. I had no intention of snooping around, but I noticed an inordinate amount of emails sent between her and a man. I became suspicious and checked them. He did not turn out to be the other man, but a friend which my wife had confided to about the other man. The exchanged emails are from this month, July. They revealed that my wife had an affair for several months with a good friend of hers that she has known since high school. He is someone that I met and spent time with on a couple of occasions, welcomed into my home once, and attended my wedding. Here are the important details from the email. Their time together was real, beautiful, powerful, and true. It seemed like something from a movie or book. She asked him to do her a favor and freeze time because she did not ever want to leave his arms. What they had was magical. It was a good phase in her life, but it had to end and she had to move on. She felt stagnant and felt she needed to start a family with me, given her age and she had reservations about him being a good faithful husband and father. I am one of the good men in the world, of which she believes there is only a small percentage of, and that is more reason to keep me. Before the other man, she had an intense crush to one of her other male friends that ended when she started her affair with other man. Nothing happened with this first guy. It is someone who is in a different country and is married. An email two weeks ago, she said she loved the other man more than me. She felt the same way with me that she did with the other man in the beginning of our relationship, but felt we grew apart during a two year long distance situation that took place five years ago. After the affair ended, she found out she was pregnant with the other man's baby and had an abortion. The other man did not want to start a family in this situation and could not handle the circumstances. My wife had reservations about his wandering eye, the fact that he would not want an imperfect baby, physical or psychological disability. She was looking forward to having a family with me and would miss him, have fond memories, and was thankful to have experienced mutual love again in her life. When I read these emails, I was devastated beyond belief. My wife is highly intelligent, very successful in her field, one of the most kind, generous, thoughtful, responsible, ethical people I've ever known. I never thought in a million years that she would do something like this. It's not to say that I do not have any blame. When we got back to living together again, after a long distance situation, I was very good to her, but I did not spend enough quality time with her. I am an extremely introverted person and did not always go out when we went out with friends and family. She has a highly demanding and stressful job and I always thought that what I did for her was enough. I did all of the chores and took care of her. Grocery shopped, cooked, vacuumed, cleaned, did laundry, washed dishes, ironed, packed her vitamins, picked up her packages. In a way, doing these things allowed her to even have the time to spend it with other people. But I was happy to do so because I wanted her to build her roots here when she moved to where I was. I was there to give her affection when she came home from work each evening, have dinner with her, and later tuck her into bed. I confronted her two days ago, and yesterday I told her that I wanted a divorce. I was too devastated from the things I read. I felt that I did not want to be a choice made out of mediocre options. I should be the only option. I felt that I would never fully recover and that I felt I deserved a higher level of happiness than the one I would have if we tried to reconcile. She understood and accepted my decision, but was devastated. We ended up having a five hour, highly emotional discussion with a lot of crying. The divorce was pretty much a done deal. She was going to move out as soon as possible and had started emailing brokers through Craigslist. In the end, I waffled, changed my mind, and decided I wanted more time to think about my decision. During our discussion, a lot of good memories and good things about our relationship 
were brought up when we spoke about our futures apart. We both could not contain our tears when we spoke about the dream and plans to have a family, dying and how we would not feel 100% right being apart from each other. It was the first time I felt remorse from her because of what she's done. And this is the most difficult part for me to reconcile. The things she said in the email versus how great she is as a person and how good she has been to me and my family over the years before the affair. I also find it difficult to reconcile the idea of having to put forth an insane amount of effort to change myself, my introversion, and to improve our relationship after what she did to me. Having unprotected sex with a man and getting pregnant with his baby. At this juncture, I still do not know what to do. She has cut off all contact with the other man. It's weird, but a part of me believes that I will never find someone as good as her ever again. And a part of her believes that she will never find someone who is good to her as I've ever been again. But there needs to be wholesale changes, definitely many on my end, to have ourselves fit together better. My wife has tried her best to be extremely good to me during the time after I found out. Being there to talk things out in a calm manner, expressing to me how she cares for me and still has wishes for a family with me. Understanding the times in which I cry profusely and hurt for hours on end and taking me to the hospital and taking care of me in my time of pain. I do have some concerns. While she has answered questions, she refuses to say the other man's name. I already know who it is and she knows I know and won't even acknowledge openly that it's him. She feels extremely uncomfortable speaking about specific details of her relationship with the other man. This is a huge personal component in their relationship. The other man went through a traumatic breakup where he had suicidal thoughts and my wife saved him from it. He is an eternal pessimist that doesn't believe in true love, marriage, having children, and is a bit of a depressive alcoholic. The other man initiated the affair and my wife, as demonstrated in the emails, is proud of it because the other man apparently has changed his outlook on life and is now wanting to love, marry, and have children now. Just not with her. Ridiculous, isn't it? Her only answer for me was tears and a statement that she feels that God put her on earth to help people with their problems and to solve their issues and that her purpose isn't for her to be happy. And she has always been that way. She has been extremely thoughtful, understanding, patient, reliable, and generous to all of her friends, family, myself, over her entire lifetime, which is why I still believe that despite her indiscretions, that she's still a good person. Zeus, your wife is toxic to you. I would suggest immediate separation so that you can detox from her influence and no contact. After your head clears, you'll know what to do. Just Joe, keep you. What the are you? The family pet? Her favorite sofa? Do you have welcome printed across your forehead? Dude, where's your pride? Your wife screwed another man, told him she loved him more than you gives you some of his leftovers and you actually want to know what to do? With all due respect, are you for real? Think about it. What if she gave him head, then forgot to brush her teeth and kissed you goodnight? Let me clue you in. She is not a good person. Professional expertise, educational accomplishments do not imply character. Joseph Mengele was a really good dentist, but he was also a child murderer. Instead of thinking what a wonderful person she is, Think about what she is not. Honest, faithful, respectful, loving, loyal are just some of the things she isn't. Plus, she got pregnant. And if the other man had been a better man, she would have left you for him. Plus, since she got pregnant, that means she had unprotected sex, thereby exposing you to STDs, showing that she didn't care if you lived or died. And you have to ask? If you have any pride and honor at all, you will kick her to the curb. So fast, she will change time zones. That is what you should do. 96 Noel. Oh boy, what a mess. All signs point to divorce. As much as it sucks, it will be very hard for you to be able to get past all of this. I mean, enough to be able to salvage this marriage. It's too much. Artie Lane. You say you'll never find anyone as good as her? Dude, she cheated on you. Even got pregnant. You have some serious self-esteem issues, bro. Too sunny. 
there's really no considering a reconciliation since she fully stated she loves the other man more than her husband. Done deal. Seems she's only sad that she got caught, not sad she did it. And last time I checked, a good woman does not consist of gals that cheat, declares her love to other men, and kills off unborn children. Your idea of a good woman is way off base. Take a hard look at your guidelines for decency, much less a good woman.